I certainly would like to say that I was not the Prime Minister who was afraid of talking to the press. I don't want to boast about my goals or my achievements as the Prime Minister. I certainly would like to say that I was not the Prime Minister who was afraid of talking to the press. I <laughs> I met the press regularly and on every foreign trip that I undertook, I had a press conference on return in the plane or after, immediately after landing. I went to the office as usual. Nassim Rauji was searching for me and he traced me to the UGC and he said, where are you? I said, I am in the UGC. He said, Have, hasn't Dr. Alexander mentioned to you what we have for you? I said, I, I didn't take him very seriously. <laughs> and. Narsim Rauji, Narsim Rauji said, no, you go and get dressed up and come for the swearing in ceremony. So that's how I became the finance minister. So people say I was accidental prime minister. I was also accidental finance minister. And and Narsim Rauji called me and I met him. I said to him that the country is in great difficulties. It requires hard thinking and very tough decision-making process to get the country out of the crisis that she was in. Narsim Rauji said, I don't understand all this, but we will give you a free hand with the understanding that if the things go well, we will all take credit. But if the things go wrong, well, you will be the scapegoat. I, I said, I accept that, but you will have to back me. And Nassim Rauji did back me on every stage. 